So where are you living now? Well, me and him sleep on that floor, and he lives with his grand in council flat. There's a whole generation of resin over the last three years. They're probably in 1972, were 13, now are 17. All these kids in this country are out of work as is, with very little future ahead of them as they see it, and they've had nothing. We haven't got a lot going for us, and like there ain't much future for us. Like just as people, not not talking about being a pop group, just as people in the first instance, you know, come out of school. Do a bit of college if you're lucky, get bored with it. What do you all do before this? Where do you start out? The school I went to, right? It's a real sort of depressing school and that. You don't learn, I think. All you're sort of like working for is just to go into the factory, which is around the corner. Most of the mates I know are all working in the factory. What kind of jobs have you lot done? I was cleaning toilets in an opera house. I was a student. I'm an art student, man. Because I've lived in Pete Townsend and Pete Richard. In the boats. And John right? Lennon. And all them people are gone, right? It's because art school has become respectable, hasn't it? Turn to your right. That's your left. And I just realised I made a mistake. And I just like thought it was better than work. All you get there now is like vicar's daughters and doctor's sons. Yeah, yeah. Right. Get rich kids getting a lift in the rolls to the end of the road, right? And then walking out for ten to be poor all day. I go like this. The government paid for me to go there, and it was a private art college. And like, all you used to do all the time is just go around and nicking all their paint. And like, going out with the birds, right, and going up to their houses. And getting fed. And like, getting houses. fed. Fucking great. And like, on the way out, maybe sort of borrow something for the time. situation has been created whereby boredom has set in amongst young kids without having really a musical expression of their own. If those kids have to watch Top of the Pops and see some old fart doing it, then what the hell is it to do with them? Look into my eyes and give me that smile, the one that always turns me on. The explosion that's been caused in London has probably arisen out of Seeing one band, I think the Sex Pistols, doing it, and all of a sudden, you know, it's like a, you know, a little spark just sets everything alight, and it set things alight. It gave people fantastic inspiration, young kids, and they all felt, well, yeah, if a guy can get up there and play four or five chords and make it meaningful, because there's a guy up there saying something with it. Then what the fuck, man? If we uh, identify with that, then we can also find the same spirit to do likewise. Punk rock is the most immediate art form. I can get whatever I've got to say across as, as quick as possible. You get this whole explosion of like new groups. And media saying, yeah, they're kicking out the rock establishment. Let's call it the new way. Let's call it punk rock. I got a feeling inside of me. It's kind of strange, like a stormy sea. I don't know why, I don't know why. The whole idea of getting on a stage and asserting yourself and announcing something or other is the criteria. It was inevitable that it should happen. Can you just hold it in between? Yeah, like that. Ah, you've got this rehearsal place here, right? Subway set use it. Sid Vicious and his new group use it. And like, Keith Levine, who used to be a guitarist, he's going to use it. And the slits are using it. I first saw the Who on Ready Steady Go, right when we were like babies, right? I mean, like, it looked great, you know, like, we could dig it, you know. But now, I mean, I couldn't understand even what Tommy was about. Tommy went over my head, you know. And we want to make records, we want to be number one. 
I mean, I think they're the greatest, so obviously I want us to be the number one. So you want to blow out all those old bands, but how radical a change do you want in the system itself? As much oh. change as we can get. Total change. I mean, we really think the government is old-fashioned like idea. The whole of Britain was like, a load of shit, right? There was nothing interesting going on, right? So, like, we created our own interesting things, right? Thank you. Well, we fit in. We're out to encourage people to be creative and make people aware. I mean, if that means we stuff it down their throat, we will stop it down there front until they know. He was a murder man, and he said, "What's all this punk rock thing, son?" The media provide you with cliches to fall back on if you haven't got an idea in your head. I was down the dole Friday morning. What state this country's in? These are the things that, like, intelligent people know. If you can't, like, think your way out of a paper bag, read a paper, right? Baby drama of knife maniac. And you go, oh yeah, he's a knife maniac, right? And he's like, the knife maniac, the dull Q rock. You know what I mean? Have you seen the news of the world? The punk goddesses. Punkesses. Punkesses, and they make the sex pistols look like crowd boys. And they saw the pistols on TV, and that was a bit scandalous because they said fuck. I mean, you know, everyone says fuck. You know, so they immediately, one man kicks off his TV and the whole thing has been completely blown apart. They showed us all up to look really stupid. It looked like we were all really mindless and we went around saying fucking hell and we had safety pins in our ears and through our jaws and things. It didn't make us look like a force to be reckoned with, it just made us look like a load of stupid kids. We're kids, but, you know, we're not stupid. There's a lot of kids from out of town coming in with their safety pins and all the business. The media pick up on the really weird things in the scene. Safety pins, plastic trousers, spitting. But that's just, that's just a fashion thing, you know? I think a lot of people are realising that it's not a fashion anymore. I think it's too serious musically. It was never spoken. It was never like, we're going to consciously attempt to smash the musical like kind of establishment. But like what it is. We said, let's get a band together that's better than them bands. You know, otherwise what we do is we go and maybe go and shoot them, plot an assassination. You've got to have destruction before you can, like, start anything new, right? I think the pistols have, like, are destroying everything really fine in a really good way, right? And then after that, you've got to have something coming up. The sex pistols are an idea. The idea is to threaten. The idea is to not allow conformity and to not allow boredom to take place within your act. And the idea is to say something that would change kids' actual outlook on their lives. The Sex Pistol Anarchy Tour, I mean, like, fucking hell. Talk about overreaction, you know. I mean, if it was 30 dates, 26 of them got cancelled, you know. Anything new they don't understand, they're afraid of. It threatens their whole existence, doesn't it? Well, as soon as the Sex Pistols don't become threatening, they ain't no longer the Sex Pistols. Fuck off! They must threaten the culture and use it and change it. Make it something else. Then we have a whole new scene on our hands. The Pistols decided not to play to the old stiffs. And I, I thought it was quite good. So like, why the fuck should they? No, you don't do that sort of thing. Oh, uh, right. But they want it all over the country, wouldn't they? So uh, we had to go out and find places to play, like, we're really trying to get new places to go, like there's some guy opening up a new club down in uh, Deal Street in Covent Garden, Roxy Club. Neil Street, yeah. Neil Street, Covent Garden. <laughs>